Round 7 is in the can. Let's look at who was hot and who was cold in KFC Supercoach. I'm going to give myself a little bit of a pump up here. Two weeks ago, I picked up Tom Hawkins at an extremely discounted price, $430 thousand dollars after starting the year with a bit of an injury it had some really poor scores but i thought i could see him turn in the corner i did not expect 184 supercoach points against the bombers eight goals in the country game he was absolutely magnificent the tomahawk uh yeah he probably will never do that again he dropped over a hundred grand in the first few weeks of the year now he's shot all the way back up past his starting price and he's still going up so proven uh, to be an absolute steal for me and anyone else who grabbed him I wouldn't be picking him up now necessarily, but it does show the value of searching for those proven scorers who've dropped a lot in price. When they turn the corner, you see a bit of a form change. That's the time to jump on. Rowan Marshall was also red hot on a Friday night. He's always hot against Port Adelaide. He's never scored under 125 against them, which is incredible. So put a pin in that one for next time uh, the Saints play the power. But he was absolutely magnificent uh, against uh, racking against Bryn Tickle. Had 26 disposals, 10 tackles and 7 hitouts to advantage to register 159 points. Fantastic score if you had the vice captain or the captain on Big Robo. KFC super coaches are having the issues with rookies at the moment, but one we can trust on field every week is Kay Chandler for the Demons. Fantastic again on Saturday night, 104 KFC Super Coach points. Absolutely brilliant if you're playing a rookie on the field and he's scoring like that. 21 disposals, 8 marks, 3 tackles, 3 goals, and he's just someone we can field every single week. I'm not sure when I'm going to trade him out. It won't be for a while because he's gone up 207 grand. He's got a break even of zero and he plays Gold Coast and Hawthorne in his next two games. So expect some more good scores from Cade Chandler. Who was cold in round seven? Unfortunately, not all our rookies went that well, and Chandler's teammate Jacob Van Ruyen went from uh, chocolates to bald lollies after his fantastic last quarter against the Tigers a week ago. Could not reproduce that, even though the Demons piled on an absolutely massive score against North. You think you might get on the end of a couple of those, but only the 33 KFC super coach points. He still went up 18 grand, so that's good, but you really want him on the bench, not on the field, and he's one we might be looking to trade out in a week or two. There were a lot of poor rookie scores around the competition this weekend, and poor old Seamus Mitchell was one of them, but really this should be aimed at his coach, Sam Mitchell. Seamus was going quite well. He was on 41 points. He was doing a really good job on Cody Waitman against the Bulldogs, and then Sam Mitchell decided to pull him off, sub him out in the third quarter. So, Sam, honestly, mate. He's been going really well. He was the most popular trade-in in KFC Supercoach uh, last week. We can't have you doing this. Uh, he's still went up 53,000, which was a great result. He's got a break-even of negative 19. But uh, we need him to play, and we need him to play a full game, please. And making his debut in the cold section for 2023 is Nick Dacos. His first score under 109, incredibly. 72 against the Crows. Ben Keyes did a pretty good job chasing him around Adelaide Oval. And unfortunately, the Crows just fell short. But you give them a tick. Uh, Matthew Nix and his coaches for that one. And you wonder if other coaches will follow suit. Interestingly, Collingwood plays Sydney this week. Uh, last year when those two teams played, I think both times, Ryan Clark put a tag on Nick Dacos. So I probably wouldn't be putting the captaincy on him this week, at least. But... Just absolutely back him in. He's been phenomenal. He's still the number one scoring defender with an average of 126.1. So having a fantastic season, this just wasn't his best game.